<laughs> so like I said before, when value sees price point, people buy every single time, right? And the only value you have is the value that you share or you create. There's two types of value. There's perceived value and actual value. And this one, I might not share inside the group. I might save this to the, for the members area. Is the gold standard, uh, the United States dollar have been backed by the gold standard into the 70s. And so after then, the commodities, majority of your commodities have been based on a thing called perceived value. And with that perceived value, initially, everything is more so in the pool of creation. It's perceived, it's not real, it's perceived, meaning it can be altered, it can be built up or it can be torn down or it can be created, destroyed. And the majority of the United States uh, citizens, we, the working class, like I say, we build the value within that dollar and it's not based on a commodity or a physical thing no more and so that same that same principle applies into your products your service the things that you have to offer um, and it can be altered and i say that to say that that value can be altered it can go from a high state to a low state based on your actions and based on how the public eye perceive it to be. And a lot of times that creates things that's high value is due to the problem that the masses may be having. So if a lot of people is having a particular problem, then the value, if you could solve that problem, the value of that is pretty high. If it's a problem that the everyday citizen can solve themselves, then the value of that is typically low. And so if you want to create something of high value, what you will have to do is you have to solve problems that actually appeals to the masses that a lot of people can't solve. And if your product or service or whatever it is that you may do actually helps people in a mass form, then that puts you up the scale of a high value and allowing you to charge more for that product or service. And that is the value scale. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down the thing is that still perceived value. Even though people perceive that problem to be hard or easy, it's still perceived value on that value scale. And that's a harsh reality. What we can do is we can alter how people perceive value based on certain principles, sales tactics, and also how we write and, and explain the problem to the people. And a lot of times that face a thing called inertia, meaning you're waking people up to reality of what is. And that thing called inertia, once you wake people up, it's easier for you to basically do a whole lot more and down now take capture of what a person perceived because now you have their attention. And the thing is, uh, like the, uh, the marketer says, Gary V. Uh, Vaynerchuk says all the time, attention is the number one currency now. If you have attention, you can control perceived value. And that's a high perceived value thing right there is attention. And it's a bigger currency than dollars because you could take attention and you could take eyeballs and you can put them in a direction for them to buy and sign up for things easily. And I say that all of this for you guys to understand that you can create value and you can build value up and then you can release that value over to someone that may need it. And when people see that, no matter if you have a dollar let me give you another example. You have a machine. Every time you put that dollar into that machine, you get $5 back. You would do whatever it takes to find every dollar you can to put in that machine. And another thing is that's how you want your product or service to be. And that's how you want people to perceive it to be. I will see you in the next one.